Genetic modification has given us the potential to make humankind stronger, faster, and more resilient to disease. But each artificial enhancement humanity makes carries the risk of generating a new class of superhumans. This, however, is the risk we need to take in order to survive the next mass extinction, according to one Harvard researcher. One in request argues that artificially enhanced genes, cells, and organs will be needed to get off Earth and onto another planet. Mr. Enriquez envisions a future in which human cells can repair themselves from radiation, fight off deadly viruses like HIV with ease, and even dodge bullets. In a recent TED talk, Mr. Enriquez said, It's going to be really hard to live on Mars if we don't modify the human body. Modifications will allow us to explore, live, and get to places we wouldn't even dream of today. There have been five mass extinction events in Earth's history, and Mr. Enriquez argues it is very likely the human race will experience one in the future. Super volcanoes, an asteroid, or solar flares could wipe out humanity in an instant. If you believe that extinctions are common and natural and normal and occur periodically, it becomes a moral imperative to diversify your species. Mr. Enriquez says, if Earth goes, all of humanity goes. The Harvard researcher explains how genetic modification could be used to upgrade the human genome over the next century. He suggests humans could one day increase the diameter of the neurons in their brain to increase reaction times. Theoretically this could reach the point whereby, as long as you see the muzzle flash, you could step out of the way of a bullet. He says, those are the order of magnitude of changes we are talking about. Genetically reprogrammed human cells could repair themselves from deadly radiation on Mars, and lungs and tissues could be genetically redesigned so that they gather more oxygen in the low O2 atmospheres of other planets. Tissues could also be modified to better filter out deadly toxins in harsh atmospheres. Humans could also achieve perfect genetic health by cutting out genetic diseases such as cystic fibrosis and Huntington's disease from the genome. This kind of process would have to happen before birth. Using gene editing technologies, Mr. Enriquez also suggests human cells could be reprogrammed to resist infection from deadly viruses such as HIV. He goes on to explain that humans are currently a life to civilization. A life to civilization alters fundamental aspects of the body. He says, you put human growth hormone in and the person grows taller or put X in and the person gets fatter or loses metabolism. You are altering the functions of the body in a fundamental way. Mr. Enriquez claims, in order to survive on other planets or moons as an intrasolar species, humanity must become a life three civilization that looks very different from what we have now. He explains, it could take tens of thousands of years for humans to reach other habitable planets using current space travel technology. In order to survive this long, you will have to change the time scale and body of humans in a way that is totally unrecognizable. Mr. Enriquez says, this is a life for civilization, and Mr. Enriquez is not the first expert to speculate how humanity will change over the coming centuries. Another video, created by Canada-based ASAP Science, describes a hypothetical scenario in which our bodies are part human part machine. The video claims that climate change, artificial intelligence and genetic mutations are all set to transform our bodies in drastic ways. We could for instance develop red eyes as our DNA mutates and have darker skin as an evolutionary response to global warming. The video, created by Canada-based ASAP Science, describes a hypothetical scenario in which our bodies are part human part machine. In the future nanobots, or tiny robots, will be suddenly integrated into our own bodies, enhancing our abilities. It says, no longer will we be limited by own own physiology, but truly become a mixture of biology and machine on the inside. Meanwhile, designer babies will cause future generations to grow into intelligent, attractive and physically people. But while that will make us better smarter, stronger and better looking, such genetic similarity, or lack of human diversity, leaves room for a single new disease of the future to wipe out the entire human race. As global warming takes hold, humans will also be skinnier and taller, it predicts, as this body shape is better able to dissipate heat. Our faces may also change dramatically, according to Dr. Alan Guan, who holds a PhD in computational genomics from Washington University in St. Louis. Dr. Khan has created a stunning series of images which display one possible evolution for the human race over the next 100,000 years. Dr. Kwan believes that key to our future evolution will be man resting control of the human form from natural evolution and adapting human biology to suit our needs. As genetic engineering becomes the norm, the fate of the human face will be increasingly determined by human tastes writes Dr. Kwan, while foreheads will continue to expand as our brains continue to grow larger. As man achieves total mastery over genetics, the human face will become heavily biased towards features that humans find fundamentally appealing. Strong, regal lines, straight nose, intense eyes, in placement of facial features that adhere to the golden ratio and left-right perfect symmetry. Dr. Kwan believes eyes will grow unnervingly large as the human race colonizes the solar system and people start living in the dimmer environments of colonies further away from the sun. Eyes will also develop in other ways that would seem startling.
startling from our viewpoint today with new features including a shine enhanced low light vision and even a sideways blink from reconstituted plicus semilunaris to help protect our eyes from cosmic rays. By the change to our appearance may happen much faster than these time frames. In fact by 2050 a completely new type of human will evolve as a result of radical new technology, behavior, and natural selection. This is according to Cardale Last, a researcher at the Global Brain Institute who claims mankind is undergoing a major evolutionary transition. In less than four decades, Mr. Last claims we will live longer, have children in old age and rely on artificial intelligence to do mundane tasks. The shift is so significant, he claims, it is comparable to the change from monkeys to apes and apes to humans. Your 80 or 100 is going to be so radically different than your grandparents, Mr. Last says, who believe we will spend much of our time living in virtual reality. Some evolutionary scientists believe this age could be as high as 120 by 2050. Mr. Last claims humans will also demonstrate delayed sexual maturation. According to a report by Christina Sturbins in Business Insider, this refers to something known as life history theory which attempts to explain how natural selection shape key events in a creature's life, such as reproduction. It suggests as brain sizes increase, organisms need more energy and time to reach their full potential, and so reproduce less. Instead of living fast and dying young, Mr. Last believes humans will live slow and die old. Global society at the moment is a complete mess, he told Mail Online. But in crisis there is opportunity, and in apocalypse there can be metamorphosis. The biological clock isn't going to be around forever, he added, and said people could pause it for some time using future technology. His views are detailed in a paper titled Human Evolution, Life's History Theory, and the End of Biological Reproduction published Current Aging Science.